Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. We're doing Outlaw Trucker today and the Peterbilt 389, the default one uh, by SCS with the interior uh, mod. Uh, and we are in San Diego right now picking up a load of gravel, and we're supposed to shoot up Highway 5 all the way to Sacramento, I believe, is where we're going today. And it is raining, so that's good news for us. Just kidding. Um, the sounds you're hearing for the wipers and for... Uh, the engine is all done by Z mods, which is fantastic. If you just Google Z mods, it'll actually, uh, or not, you don't have to Google it. You can just go on the Steam Workshop and boom, you're there with all of his mods. All right. The interior uh, rework mod is done on the SES forums. You can get that there. I, I, I link everything I can. Uh, we'll go over that in a second. Uh, before anything else, when I look around left and right, that is done by Track IR. It's a head tracker infrared head tracker uh it is not vr or anything like that all right we might have nailed this back oh baby i think we're gonna hit the fifth wheel like perfect here you've got to be kidding me is that gonna happen all right oh my god yeah we nailed it let's do our tug test here not that it matters we're outlaws today but hey you know what we gotta do what we gotta do pull both of those gonna attach it up and we'll just pretend we got out in the rain and did that. Uh, we're not doing a pre-trip or anything stupid like that today. So let's go ahead and uh, pull the... Both of those are in. And we're good to go. Now, last time uh, we did this. Looks like we have the trailer with us. Uh, last time we did this, I, I was using blinkers out of a habit. So I'm going to try not to do that today. We're going to be a true outlaw and drive like an idiot. So if you guys are here uh, for my normal content... Uh, that will resume, of course, but whenever there's Outlaw Trucker in the title, uh, it means we're going to be an outlaw. We're going to drive like an idiot, so keep that in mind today. Oop. Don't hit that blinker, Jeff. Come on now. The hell you doing? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, CIP, he released his uh, traffic mod for 140 on the popular modding sites. So that's what we're rolling with today. Let's do some outside view action here. Cause this sound set is so good, man. It is so good. Look at those dragon claws. I got that jank too. Oh yeah. Not bad at all, right? Man, that thing sounds so, so good. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is a mean looking truck, man. The Fall 389 with all the uh with a bull bar on the front of it and stuff. I love it. Oh, we have a red light. What do we need that for, right? Yeah, we don't need to stop at a red light today. Need to reflip that thing guy over there. There we go. Almost didn't get into gear there for a second. Can't find it, grind it. Isn't that how she goes? I think we're over revving the hell out of this thing, but that's okay got going on up here what are we hitting the brakes for oh. <laughs> got a red light violation but man we got right around that car didn't we holy crap oh uh, another thing's throwing me off kind of today is i would i did i racing last night at uh, circuit of the americas and uh my wheel is still straight up and down it's not at the angle tilt it normally is what am I using my blinkers for? Oh, we won't get around this guy. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. There's some things you can get around. There's some things you just can't. Even when you're an outlaw, you sometimes you got to hit the brakes. Sometimes. Actually, you know what? We might be all right here. There we go. Beautiful. Can't find it. Grind it. Come on. Let's get up to speed. I think it's just a straight shot on uh, on the five. I'm pretty sure. Can we get around the right here? Maybe. I knew he was going to turn. I knew he was going to turn. That's what... Yep. I knew he was going to be turning. Let's just push him right on out of the way. Why not? Look how powerful this engine is. We're pushing a Dodge Charger on its side. Look at this. We're just pushing the... <laughs> just pushing him down the road. 
That is so good. We're gonna take him all the way to the intersection. <laughs> He's trying to get out of it too. You can hear him hitting the, hitting the gas and stuff. Come on, keep going. We're just gonna keep pushing him here. Why not? That is absolutely amazing. Okay, we'll just go ahead and uh, shift gears here. Never hit the brakes when we we're shifting gears. Going to third. And uh, we're just going to turn with him on our nose. I don't care. There we go. Later, dude. <laughs> oh, that was great. There we go. Get through some gears here. Get on the highway. Up that car off. Because we can. Yeah, once you get into seventh gear, it takes a minute for it to kick and get going again. All right. Well, how's everybody doing? I'm actually recording this on a Friday. Uh, and uh, because of Valentine's Day and stuff, I'm doing a little bit of early recordings. I normally don't do that. I actually, uh, usually, the only thing that's ever pre recorded is the five PD episodes or like uh, Rec Fast with the Boys because we record earlier and then re I release the next day. Um, but all the other videos on my channel are usually done in the same day. Actually, you know what? Here, let's get up into speed here. It'll take a minute to get this thing up and going. We actually can get in the left lane here and cruise. Oh, CHP. I wasn't even going that fast. I hadn't even, hadn't even gotten five over the limit yet. So that's okay by me. Um, but uh, normally I just record and edit and upload in the same day. That's normally how I do it. Uh, this one is a different one because of Valentine's Day, so I'm actually recording this on a Friday, so uh, happy Saturday to all of you. That's in the future, tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're putting the hammer down now. We are, we are. Uh, that NASCAR duels, well, the clash happened, uh, which was, eh, it was all right. Uh, the duels were absolutely upsetting a little bit last night. I don't know if you saw them. Um, interested to see what the uh, the package is going to show on Sunday. Now, uh, they are on a on a new package on the cars this year, and the race the the plate track the plate racing we've seen so far, say it that way, um, it has been nothing but amazing. I, it reminds me of back in like the uh, early two thousands. Like, it, it looks really good. I don't know what to expect on Sunday, but it's going to be badass. Dude, we're doing 75 trying to get up on this car here, and look at this. I'm so happy to see CIP's uh, traffic mod working again because these cars actually speed. There we go. <laughs> Last time we did uh, one of these outlaw truckers, you guys told me in the comments... They're like, that's not a lot trucking. That's how I drive, drive every time in ATS. That's amazing. That is truly awesome. All right. These guys completely slowed down the right lane, but they're just going whatever. Yeah, I think we just cruise all the way to Sacramento. I'm pretty positive. Get through these guys one by one. Uh, we might be able to get around this. Taurus here. Maybe not, though. Man, the lighting is just so beautiful in the rain. It's rainy days now. Not bad at all. I finally, finally, this is exciting, uh, the Reverb G2 headset, the new VR headset that's uh, been out for a little while, uh, finally in stock. So I finally got my order in for that. Oh, you're going to get brake check me, dude? That's what happens right there. Unbelievable, man. He brake checked the hell out of us, too. He had no reason to slam the brakes until we got real close to his bumper. And then he's like, there you go. I got a big bull bar on the front of my truck. I don't care, dude. Push us. Just push our limits. Um, But yeah, I got that coming. Uh, should be here next week, which is really exciting because... Uh, with the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, VR update, uh, and even American Truck Simulator, man. Uh, it's going to be like almost, I think it's like double the real resolution of what my Rift is. So I'm pretty ex pretty excited for that. Did not expect to see it in stock so soon. I thought I'd have to wait till like summer, but that didn't happen, so. 
that's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, keeping up with what's going on with my uh, my dental appointments. I did get another dentist appointment. I went, and uh, they uh, made the decision what they're going to do. As I told you, I don't have to get implants now, which is really cool. I don't have to get implants. Um, so they're going to uh, fill, fill two cavities and then uh, do a bleaching. He, yeah. What you, he's, he is totally brake checking me. I wonder if CIP has it to where if you get too close to the bumper, they brake check you. I mean, it's possible. I'm going to hit the brights on him. I bet it matters. You won't see him anyway. <laughs> so close to him right now. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get that taken care of. And that is on like Wednesday. Coming up. So it's like my fourth or fifth dentist appointment now. I forget what I'm on. Well, I guess I, I wouldn't count the, uh, the periodontist since that was uh, just a consultation. But yeah, they're doing a bleaching, a laser bleaching. Have you ever had a laser bleaching done before? Doing that and then getting those, uh, those fillings. I'm pretty stoked. I'm ready for it. It's almost Valentine's Day. You guys got any plans for that? Man, another thing I've noticed with the 140 update is that the fog is brutal. They really changed that. It used to not be this bad, but uh, it looks good. I must say, it looks really nice. Let me go into uh, eight low now. Yep. It's this truck does not want to bury the needle, man. It's got 600 horsepower under, her, but carrying that uh, that gravel, I guess, is just uh, a little too much. I thought it wouldn't be a problem for it at all, but I was wrong. Oh, there it is. Cop saw speeding. Not that we care. There we go. Now we're burying that needle, man. Almost 80 miles an hour in the fog. <laughs> we're gonna do. We're gonna get it there. Now the the goal is in Outlaw Trucker. Oh, they want us in the right lane. I don't know why, but uh, the goal is to get this there as quick as we can no steep grades that's why without uh destroying the freight so we don't want to drive so stupid we destroy the freight but like pushing cars out of the way that's not so bad we can do that all day long you know all these cars are in the truck lane we're gonna take the uh this lane here oh come on you can do it old truck This is a hell of a grade. Thought I would scare that cop. There's another one there. <laughs> oh, come on, truck. We'll get our speed up here in a second over the hill. Man, I did not expect to be driving in this weather today for the outlaw trucker, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just get rainy weather all the way where you're going. Here, now we get through our gears. No problem. Going downhill. Have to be a little careful there. There's the runway trend. Uh, yep. Runway ramp we've used before in the past. Get the brakes a little bit here. This is a little scary. Coming through this pass. Oh, damn. I don't even know how that even happened. I, was th I thought I was apexing the corner to the right, and the car from the left went right into us there. I don't know. No idea where he, I don't know where he came from. There we go. All right, now we're just gonna kick back and relax and cruise all the way here to the left lane. That works for me. Oh, there's a bus up here. Oh no, that's an amb ambulance. Come on, let's get her. Actually, no, I got an idea here. We're outlaw, so yeah, I think it's gonna work out for us to go around him on the right. But I was gonna hit the shoulder. 
if I had to. Good on fuel. I've been looking into some uh, options for my uh, for my rig here. And uh, there we go. Cut him off like that. Uh, and the uh, thing I would like to do is get a, a gauge cluster set somewhere. Because there's that uh, there's sim tech or I forget what they are actually called. But they make a, a little USB thing for you can use real uh, gauge clusters on it. I always wanted to do something like that for the rig, so that's a pipe dream. Maybe I'll get that done this summer. I think that'd be really cool. Because like sometimes you have to really look for the uh, the gauges, you know, in this game. Whoa, that was a huge lag spike. Uh, yeah, still doing it. Uh, you know, looking at your your gauges like the fuel fuel gauge and then like your other stuff. Um, but. It'd be nice just to have something there so you could just see it. You wouldn't have to look at it. It's a luxury thing. I know it's not necessary. Go in gear, dude. Get around this U-Haul truck here in a second. Dude, we might be in the rain and fog all the way. Oh, there's the cop back there turning his lights on finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I say that, and then now I think we're starting to poke out of it. It might become a nice day before you know it. Definitely making good time so far. We've crashed, uh, what, three car, two cars out of the way? Three? I don't even know what the, the counters on that. Brakes here. This is going to be dicey. That is super dicey right there, up against that wall. Have I been driving my brights on the entire time? No. Thought I had been, but I'm not. Not that they would see it anyway during the day. Yeah, I'll just stick to the left lane, why not? Love doing outlaw trucking in California too because man, that 40 at 55 mile an hour is just not always the best. Whenever you're trying to abide by the the law, you like my uh, black classic we got, black ice style air freshener right there by the Cobra. I got the Tom Tom in there instead of the cell phone today. And I get asked that question all the time, Jeff. What do you use for those things? That's the uh, the new DLC that came out for America Truck Sim. So it's the SES stuff that they added. I use SISLs uh, add-ons, and then I use the SES ones. That was a big bump in the road. Wasn't a car, I don't think. All right, run. Oh, we're not on five. We're on 99. I thought we were going to be on five, but actually, to be honest, uh, five and 99 look very similar, other than the uh, median sometimes is a little wider. Yeah, I guess we're just going to be on this road all the way. What's it's looking like. I'm fine with that. It's okay. Okay by me. Ooh, slow down here. Whoa, dude. I can feel that trailer wanting to <laughs> roll over on its side. Oh, you would, dude. This isn't... You know what we're going to do? Hit the shoulder. That's what we're going to do. Save another news van's life today. Oh, look at that, dude. He is, he is moving it. He's going just about as fast as this. Feels like we're racing in Talladega here. Yep, starting to clear up now. Like I said it was gonna happen. And it did. But the rain might actually drop off on us here too. I'm actually fine with that. I am uh, perfectly fine with that. Thank you guys for the support uh, with the OCRP videos. I know you've been enjoying them a lot. 
Uh, they're edited down versions of the live streams and then the streams uh, go up on the Fabian Live channel. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the reason why I'm editing that down. And, and uh, the edits might, well, it'll be a little bit different. Honestly, the thing is, is with OCRP, I don't put a whole lot of editing into it, like, uh, you know, zooming in and, and replaying funny moments and things like that. A lot of people enjoy the, uh, the, the realism of OCRP and that's uh, what I'm trying to keep keep in there. Now, anytime I have cuts or anything, it's usually the cuts are from uh, in RP. Sometimes you say something to a cop or another person in RP and they just don't say anything for like five seconds for some reason. They're not paying attention or they're doing whatever, God knows what. Uh, so I cut those long pauses out. And sometimes they can be like eight seconds long. You, sit, you ask a question to a cop and it's like eight seconds and they respond. So I cut the, 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 the dead air out for the most part. And then I will also edit out if you're in a uh, investigation, like with a Kathy Brunswick ed episode, uh, what you'll do is you'll go in and I'll, I'll uh, talk in off the top of my head here. I'm just trying to, you know, he's breaking checking me. It's a cop too, I think. Yep, it is a cop. Come on, push him all the way through. Dude, <laughs> the cop brake checked us. We'll just do this. Pit successful. Yup, it was a polar bear. I cannot believe we did not get a, uh, a ticket for that. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Uh, going back to it though. Um, if they say the same, a lot of the cops will say the same thing over and over again, or even the civs will. They kind of start to talk in a circle. I edit that out as well. If you ever wonder why there's any gaps or there's something like jumping, it's because of those reasons, honestly. And I, I don't see that changing. And uh, I've also had a little critique about it being the easy way out, the, the lazy way. And that's not it at all. Um, so, oh man, huge crash up here. Look at this. They got the fire truck out there and everything. Uh, Amazon Prime on fire. Um, it's not that at all, honestly. Um, so it's either I, I do OCRP content like this on the channel or just don't do it on the channel, the main channel at all and put it all on, on the live. The reason why is because, you know, that can be two to three hour sessions to try to get something to happen. If you go in and you're recording, you can lose. I, I've lost so many recordings because you're playing for like three hours or two, you know, three, it, it, usually three hours to get an episode and um because we don't no, nothing's like staged it's all organic rp and it all just comes together uh eventually or you or something doesn't at all um but when you have your screen recording and audio recording for that long you're asking for it man you really are you're asking to lose your footage and i have actually lost my footage before um you're asking uh, to cause like a you know there could be a blue screen of death if it's a memory issue so that's the reason why it doesn't work whenever i do live streams it does and i can tell you doing live streams um 5m sometimes it's unpredictable it'll crash on you uh you know gta is it is what it is when you're modding it it's just you know you're asking for that so keep in mind that is another factor because when the game crashes you could lose uh, you could lose your footage that way. Um, so yeah, you could stop and record, stop and record, but sometimes you don't know if it's going to happen if the game's going to crash on you and then you lose your, everything you just recorded. So with the live format, I know that when I'm done, I can at least it, when it's streamed out to people, at least I know that that footage is there. So what I do, it actually takes longer to do this, but I download the VOD off of Twitch and then edit it and then export it and upload it. The thing is, is Twitch VODs take, for some reason, they take forever to encode and they're laggy inside of the editor. It's some kind of codec thing they use, but uh, it's it, it takes a long time. It, it's actually a lot more involved to do it. And then I go in and, and edit out the, um, or change the different volumes of people when they talk, because sometimes people are really loud and some people are really quiet. So I don't know, I think a lot of the editing just goes unknown, unnoticed. 
Man, look at the lighting right now. This looks so good with the uh, rain and the cars. That looks, I mean, if you just kind of, what I do, I don't know if you ever do this, but if you like slightly squint your eyes, doesn't it look real? Like just slightly squint your eyes and you're like, dude, that looks so real. It does, that's why. That is why it does look real. All right, get her up speed here. Yeah, they really, really sped off now. This dude in front of us doing 75. You know, I haven't tried. Ooh, I was going to. Ooh, I'm in the brakes. I was full in the brakes and he brake checked us. I think that CIP did that, dude. I really do. I think that he made it to where if you, if you tailgate, they, they, it's successful again. I just get the, the trailer away from it so I don't get in trouble <laughs> for the trailer. But I think that he did that. If you get so close, they hit the brakes really hard. I mean, it's funny if they, if he added that, but I was like full in the brakes too there. And it was just, it was too close. Now, of course I know I was following too closely. Yes, this is outlaw trucker. So you can save those comments cause I'm sure that they're there. I am certain of it, this truck. So yeah, um, on this rig, I have these two bolts right down here, the bottom ones, and I can loosen those, pull those out, and then I can angle the whole deck here. Uh, so that's usually what I do for when I'm trucking. But in racing, like I racing, I, I pull those out and I drop this down flush because this feels, it feels much more natural to be driving a race car, um, you know, with it 90 degrees instead of it tilted, it would be weird. So that's the reason why. Um, but I love the fact that I can do that with this rig, this G GT track by uh, next level racing. This uh, fire truck's trying to race as it looks like. I'm like, I'm going through the gears, man. I'm trying to get it up to speed again. But it ain't having it. It just ain't. All right, Sacramento. We gotta be getting close. I mean, we've been, no, is that Stockton? Okay. Oh, these guys are going super slow in this lane here. Um, yeah, we're going through downtown Stockton. I forgot about this. 99 does this. Oh, keep on rolling. Keep it rolling there, trucker. Oh, there's, I would, oh yeah, there we go. I was like, I'm going to try to get around this truck, but I thought there was going to be a parked car there. There was one there, but not now. There we go. Let's do a stupid maneuver here. All right. I absolutely had to actually stop there. There was no way I could get through that traffic. So now we're getting on the back on the highway here on five. That's okay though. You didn't miss anything, man. Just traffic, the usual. All right, come on down into gears here. Get out onto traffic. Yep, I'm getting on the highway our car. Thank you very much. Works for me. <laughs> It'll be, this will be the fastest I've ever gotten to uh, Sacramento. Ever. There we go. Now we're sailing again and we're good on fuel for the most part it looks like we're about half tank from what i can see oh man look at the sun coming in the window like that that looks really good it's real nice yeah i think this is one of my favorite uh engine sound mods z mods uh n14 that we're driving today it's just, it's so soothing and it sounds just like the real thing. Just well done. The Jake brake's a little flappy for me. I like a little bit more like a, I don't know, a, I don't know. Can't explain it really. Hey, we made it to Sacramento, everybody. I don't know where our exit is. That guy got over the same time I did. And there you go. Get right back over there, bud. I'm gonna apex this corner. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, we're exiting up here. 
All right, car. I got to get over, bud. <laughs> and hopefully that didn't hurt our trailer too bad. But yeah, the, uh, the Jake brake, it could be a little bit better. Not that it's bad. It's just that, uh, I like those ones that are more like a, I can't explain it. This one's very, very prominent. Yeah, you won't. Hey, Acura, sorry about that, dude. Am I going to make it around you? I don't know, man. I don't think so. <laughs> I think we're going to hit him with our tires. Yep. Yeah, well, you could have backed up there. You could have. That's all good. Whatever. Outlaw trucker for the win. You go, you're going to get hit there, Mustang. Okay. He was smart. Another thing I've noticed with this, um, can we go up the side of this? I don't think so. I don't think we can. I we stopped yet again. That's what happened last time. I was like, I tried to go around and it just didn't work out very well for that. But we're going to be stuck in traffic again. Oh, well, another excuse to see this beautiful lighting. But what I was talking about is that the lighting, man, the shadows on the side of the cars look so damn good. Ooh. Yeah, outside view almost got us uh, smashed in the back end of that dude. Um, we can actually get around maybe. Oh, we could really do something real stupid. I got an idea. Something we can do real dumb here. No, no, that ambulance is now going. Nope, that one's turning. So this is what we can do. We can do this. Get into gear, bud. Opposite lanes, left of them, through the intersection. Around this ice cream truck, we have this uh, right here to get over this bump. But we didn't want to wait for that. Look at that Mustang, man. Yeah, look at the lighting of the cars when the ra it's raining. It looks so amazing. All right, we need to get back over. Nah, that's going to be the hard part because no one's going to move out of our way. You know what we'll do? We'll just move them ourselves. You don't want to move? We'll move you yourself i heard that i heard that buddy there we go and we got right through that intersection yeah with cip's traffic mod oh it looks so good man taxi cabs and all sorts of stuff that's that whole area right there is backed up i was like i'm not gonna wait around for that okay so we are dropping off it i believe we're going to lennar which I'm new to that. I've never heard of Lennar before this uh, realistic uh, company's mod or whatever, which is Grimes WordPress. I could ask these same ones. And then somebody asked me to put a, make a Google Doc and all that stuff. It's, it's really not hard to find this stuff. I don't know why. Um, and then also on top of that, the bit.ly links. A lot of people are having issues with the bit.ly links. My God, that's bumpy. Um, and I don't get that one at all because the bit.ly links work perfectly fine for me. Um, some people said that they have an issue where if you click on the link, it pops up in a, and it's missing a couple characters. So you just copy and paste it. But it's like, I don't know. We're getting to the point now where everybody just demands everything all the time. And it's like, these, these mods that I use are not hard to find. They really are not like hidden away in some cave. It just takes like a little bit of Googling and not very much. So I don't know. It's either I go through and and then whenever I get a Google Doc, then I have to constantly update it because I change out mods all the time. I just, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll see what I can do. That's all I can say. But it just seems like everybody's kind of just starting to force their way in wanting this and this and this and this and this or me to, to link every single little thing under the sun. And it's like, dude, I make videos. <laughs> like I don't. I don't want to go to different websites and build Google documents just because people don't want to use Google. I don't, I, they're not hard to find. All right, where are we going here? I've actually, I actually know this drop. It's the one right here on the right, isn't it? And after doing this for so long, trust me, like, especially with the LSPDFR ones, I went through and I made such like, such detailed, like mod lists and all this stuff. And then you, all you get is just complaining about those this one doesn't this doesn't work for me and this one is this one's out of date blah, blah, because i don't go back through and keep them up to date constantly because a author decides to remove a file so i would get those uh complainers and then on top of that you have people that 
would get viruses because they don't know how to use share mods correctly or use a ad blocker to prevent those things from happening. I think we just hit that dirt pile right there. Um, so we're jibba jabbering. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm I'm torn on it. I want to do it for the people that are like the good people out there that are legitimately just you know trying to find these mods because uh, sometimes they are hard to find and those are the ones I always help out with. But we did that Kenworth Long, you know. And on that Kenworth Long, it was a Steam Workshop file, and I put the file name in the description. No one looked at the description at all. And we're asking and demanding for a link for that truck. And I'm like, dude, I t literally told you how to get it in the video. One and two, I put the exact file name. All you had to do is just put that into the search bar. But it seems like it's just, I don't know. De the, the demanding is what makes me not want to do it. But I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, have good, good intentions behind wanting to find out what mods I'm using. But, you know, and then my good buddy, Thero. You know that I've recorded videos with this stuff. Thero watches my these videos, and then he watches me say, you know, talk about the different mods. He actually listens to what I say, and then he goes out and he gets them himself and builds this uh, thing. He's he's living proof that that it can happen. He need to get to the green. So I'm still very torn about that. All right, we have done it. For the break, all that's good to go. Let's go ahead and uh, detach the trailer. Ain't she a beaut? Ain't she a beaut? All right, so we didn't get in any trouble with the trailer. So we got an excellent, even though we were driving like an idiot, which is fine by me. Uh, but that'll do it for this episode of Outlaw Trucker. I'll just show you real fast. Nobody's going to watch this anyway, <laughs> but my graphics options are right here. This is what I use. Uh, right there, right there, right there, right there. I wish I could tell you what I use on my NVIDIA overlay. It doesn't show up. Whenever I'm recording this and I pop it up, it doesn't show up on the screen. Um, so my exposure is set to zero and my vibrance is 0 0.5. Uh, and I use the exact uh, ones I was using from that SCS forum post. So yeah, you wanna, if you wanna know how, I, how this game looks for me uh, and what I use exactly, you're gonna have to go to the SCS forums a link and go look there and and I don't know what to do other than uh, with the bitly links they work perfectly fine for me when I click on them and whenever I copy and paste them so I don't know why people are having issues with that again um, we'll go into my mods real fast I'll show you I do this all the time not that this matters only a few people will even care uh, to even get this far in the video to even watch this part but we're here anyway and you can see what we're using uh, so this the traffic mod I'm using by CIP uh, is the 1.40 here released now this is not on steam workshop and this is nowhere i literally had to google uh ci ats cip traffic 1.40 and it popped up on a mods ats.com website so that's how i found it uh that's the pack we're using by z mods the Cummins n14 that's the interior pe mega pack those are on the scs forums uh ownable cargo all this stuff all you have to do is just literally put ats and then the names of these which ones pertain to you, what you want. And uh, and that's that. There's realistic mirror FOV icons. That's how I get rid of the, th the big green things. No boundaries. That gets rid of the uh, the orange Xs. That's the uh, truck physics mod I use. Get asked that one all the time. Uh, tire sounds. These are the real advertisements. I use realistic corner shop, real gas stations, revival project, real companies, shops, and billboards. Again, Real company shops and billboards, real company shops and billboards, re real companies shops and billboards. I get asked that one so much and I say it all the time. <laughs> that is the one I use right there. Uh, municipal police traffic pack, the Jazzy Cat AI traffic packs, Smarties wheel pack, real tires mod. You can't have that unless you pay for it from John Ruda. SISL's mega pack, the uh, track, uh, the trailer pack add on, and then the SISL's trailer pack USA. Those are all the mods I use currently. There you have it. Well, I hope you enjoy your weekend and Valentine's Day. I will see you all next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available. If you check out the link in the description below, and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.